In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to use the Video Collage Designer as implemented in version 17 of CyberLink PowerDirector. The Collage Designer began in version 16. They've made some changes to it. We'd like to cover those, but also some basics for those of you who have an early version of PowerDirector and have just upgraded to version 17. In order to get to the Collage Designer, you click on the Plugins word at the top menu and you'll have a drop down and one says Video Collage Designer. Another way to get there is click on the icon of the plugins, which is the puzzle piece, and you get the same drop down and you can move into the Video Collage Designer. There are several areas in the screen we'd like to cover. Now the Collage Designer is quite complicated, so we're going to break this tutorial into several sections. In this introductory one, we're going to look at a couple of the changes between versions 16 and 17, and we'll get you started as well. On the left side, you have the media. Now, anything you have in your media room that can be put into the Collage Designer will appear on the left side. And if I click on the drop-down by All Media, I say I can put videos images, 3D media, and color boards into my media room for the Collage Designer. I cannot put audio files because they do not apply. And then I have at the very top a layout bar which is the same as version 16 with one good difference. I can choose from several layouts. The default is all. I can choose a custom layout if I've designed any of my own or modified some. We'll talk about that later. I can also choose downloaded content. And last time I checked, there were 15 options at the website for CyberLink to download additional layouts. If I want to go back to my all, we'll start there. Before, you had to click on the right arrow to see all your options. But now in version 17, we have the box with the nine dots on it. And when I click on that, I have a pop-up screen, which is really nice, where I see all the 30 layouts that I can pick from. This is the same selection as you had in version 16. And you notice each layout has variants that you can do for the same number of frames. For example, I have four of these. Uh, that are for two frame layouts. And if I look, I have five of them that are for three frame layouts. And so let's just pick one. Now I can't uh, uh, double click with the left mouse button. I have to highlight it and then click on OK. I wish it were a double click, but it's not. And this is an example of a layout. Every layout has its own built in animation. And so to see what the animation is, all I need to do is press the play key and I will see how the frames animate at the beginning. I can also set the animation at the end. We'll talk about that in a moment. To populate the items in the frames, all I need to do is drag and drop either a still image or video. I'm, in this case, I'm just going to use videos. We'll take the woman and we'll take this road scene and this other road scene and we just drag and drop. And if I drag another picture over one that's already there, let's take this waterfall, it will simply replace it. You notice each, each time I'm here, I have a number in the box. I can't see the number, but you need to keep your eye on the highlight at the top. This will show you uh, what we have here in terms of the number that belongs to that particular frame. And that's important because we have sequencing going on between the numbers. I cannot change in this particular layout what box one is. I can change the content, but I can't make box one be the top box or the lower left box. That's all built in. Nor can I change the animation. But we'll look at some of the things we can change on the right side in a moment. So I can take any of these, and if I want to adjust them, there's several ways to adjust the picture inside the box. For example, if I want this woman's face uh, to be to the right, I can drag and drop, but right now it's maximum width, so there's nothing I can do there. But I can choose this one to enlarge, and then I can move her face if I want to. 
or I can also uh, turn off audio if there is audio in the clip and uh, all I do is click this and the audio goes away obviously if you have three clips with audio you don't want the audio of all three uh, to uh, be playing at the same time I also can click on the scissors and that will get me into my trim function I'm back into my trim and here I can shorten the clip from the beginning or the end uh, any way I want to let's for example take this and shorten it down a little bit and click on OK so you can trim you can mute you can enlarge or reduce and if need be if you have the room you can move the picture up down left or right depending on the size of the frame now let's you can also take the frames and adjust them to some degree if I want the woman's face to be larger I can click on the margin between the pictures also on the left and right I can click here and so now I have more of her and I have more of the road and I have a little less here but notice I can hold the left mouse button and drag the four-headed arrow and I can reposition my waterfall in the lower left if you change anything in terms of the edges of the frames you can do a save as I'll do that right now and now we can save this as a template I'll just call it test and now I have a template of my own I'll click on OK and now when I click on custom I have my new one if I click on all my test comes in as the first one above the the presets when it looks at the options you have for layout you can go all the way from 2 up to 7 this is the same layout options you had in version 16 we'll cancel that out so that's how to place objects now you can also switch objects I can take the one of the road drag it and put it in the other one and it will just switch them one for the other the roads in the middle and the woman's at the bottom and so this is the ways in which you can manipulate the data the images or videos that you put in your collage again I can click on the play at any time and I can see the introductory animation and that shows me how it's going to work let me cover a couple more things in this lesson something new also besides this box at the upper right in version 17 is you now have an interclip size the interclip size defaults to 10 and it defaults to white now this area here is called the interclip I can change the color on it now which I could not before if I want to make it let's say purple I'll click here and now my frames are purple I can also use a graphic image there's a texture involved I'll click on interclip texture I'll go to this JPEG of bricks click on open and now I have bricks if I want to see them more clearly all I need to do is I can widen it and there I've put more screen real estate in for my margin I also have a border in addition to that the default of the border is zero let's turn the, the border up I'll drag to the right and I can change the border color and there's my border let's make our border black click on OK and now I have a frame around each one as well as a different color between them I don't see myself using both of these a lot and that's why I think one reason that the border is set to zero to start with but if you want all of them off just unclick the border box and now you have neither border nor this inner clip area and to turn it back on and off you can do that let's go back to a uniform color and let's make that color smaller so it's just kind of a hairline between the images I find that more professional but that's one way that you can make some changes let's look at a couple others options here we also have frame animation and then two others we'll just stop with uh, looking a little bit at frame animation the default is the frames animate as your collage begins to play so if I click on the play we have the animation the one comes down and the other comes in from the left another option that you have is you can do this at the end now we have a 17 second clip a 14 second clip and the 19 second clip let's go during closing 
Now if I do during closing, there's no animation to start with. We'll play it. But when I get near the end, we're going to see that it does it in reverse. We start with the picture of the woman and she becomes full screen as it would have started full screen. Now there is no way to do both animation at the beginning and the end, but I have a workaround. We'll do a video on that. There's a way to make that happen. Or you can simply turn the frame animation off. Now this is different from the animation of the videos. So now it's off and the frames don't change size or shape or position at all. You simply have three frames in your collage and the videos play as you might expect. So that's some of the beginning look at the Collage Designer. We'll continue in our next tutorial looking at how it works and any differences between version 17 and version 16.